If you missed me making this cover last week, I took a packaging from a product that I got and turned it into a journal book cover. So this week we're going to fill it up. So make sure to go watch that one if you haven't already. Now that my cover is ready, I'm going to start pulling some papers for the inside of my journal. Uh, I don't know what direction I'm really going to go yet, but I do think I'll do some work on the pages before and some after. So I have some really fun pages in this color scheme. So I'm definitely going to pull some of those out and use those. Um, I may do some work on the pages before I even do the binding. We'll just see. It's fun to kind of just jump in and see where it goes. In this video, I'll just be showing you a quick overview snapshot of one of the ways that I go about creating the pages for my journal. It's a really fun and intuitive process that I go on and it's definitely one of the things that I enjoy the most. I may even like making the journal better than I do working in the journal. So I like to fuse together different styles and really go from there. For more full tutorials on this, I suggest you signing up for my masterclass that I release annually in the spring and we go over everything handmade journals related and I show you each process in depth step by step. But I hope that this video provides some inspiration for you on different ways that you can make your journal pages. It doesn't all have to be just plain papers, although those are a great thing to mix in as well but you can add all of your fun goodies in there and really make it uniquely yours. Stick around till the very end to see a flip through of this journal. I'll be showing you how I make one of the signatures, but I'll flip through the whole thing once it's bound at the end.